Allison. And now to another big story we're following tonight, and this is only on seven. A woman says she was repeatedly sexually assaulted, and this was inside the Department of Homeland Security. Jennifer Donnellan joins us from Northwest Washington with the details. Jen. Well, Allison, here's the background on this case. We've learned from sources that this began as a groping and indecent exposure investigation at the Department of Homeland F Security facility there on Nebraska Avenue just a few months ago. Sources tell us late last week, information of a much more serious nature came to light. Allegations of rape and sexual abuse that were told allegedly went on for months. Wow. Um as a woman, that's really scary. And it's over there right across the street. Allegations of rape inside the Department of Homeland Security facility on Nebraska Avenue are being taken very seriously by DC police, according to sources. It's especially surprising considering it's Homeland Security and the government in general. According to a police report filed three days ago, a 32 year old woman who works in the cafeteria told detectives her supervisor sexually assaulted her in the coat room at their workplace. She claimed the sexual abuse began inside the building, which is surrounded by tight security last spring. She alleged her supervisor shoved her face first into the wall of the coat room and raped her. And she said he sexually assaulted her in a similar manner on new numerous occasions since then. The security is like letting, not letting outside people in. I don't think there's that much difference in security in the way the employees are treated. I think it could happen anywhere. I mean, I know I feel like it should be a safe place since it is Homeland Security. That's unacceptable, to be honest. And to, to happen in that building, that's even worse. Now, just moments ago, we received this statement from the Department of Homeland Security. Late last year, a contract employee assigned to the Nebraska Avenue Complex cafeteria was arrested by the DHS Federal Protective Service following allegations of se sexual abuse and assault by a fellow contract employee. The individual has been charged in Superior Court and has been ordered to stay away from both the complainant and DHS property. And as we have just learned this evening, this investigation has now taken another turn. Reporting live from Northwest, I'm Jennifer Donnell and ABC 7 News. Okay.